Hi, how are you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the process of creating this window light in Photoshop. It's really easy and it only takes a couple of minutes. So this is the after and this is the before. So I'm gonna walk you through the process and show you how it's done. So first thing you wanna do is come to your layers panel and come down to your adjustment layers and select exposure. Then you want to reduce the exposure and this will be different for every image. So bring it down to around minus minus two stops and then you can push the gamma correction up a little bit as well and once you've done that then you want to create a new document so come up to file and press new or you can press control or command n and then you can type in any width height and resolution that you want i'm just going to select the a4 click create and then from here you want to come over to the rectangle tool make sure that the fill is select to black and then draw a square and then just press control or command J to duplicate that and select the move tool and you just want to do that again and then left click on the mouse and select all the boxes like that and then press control command J that will duplicate all of them and then you can bring them down and just line them up there we go press control command j again and do the same thing again there we go and let's just move these down so there's a little bit of a gap there in between the middle and you can see there if you just draw over the boxes just literally draw over them like that and let go it will select them and then you can you can move them around and position them as you like so now when you're happy with that if you select all of them so literally hold left click on the mouse draw over them like that and then come over to the left on your layers panel you'll see that they're all selected right click and then select merge shapes so we go with most that into one layer now what we want to do is press Control Command T to transform the layer and then right click and then come up and select perspective and you can change this either way left or right so you can push this back and forward and you can also change the perspective of the bottom panels here as you can see I can I can move them to any any shape I want and if you right click you can also select distort and you can do the same thing there where you just change the angle a little bit so this just gives the window light a little bit more of a realistic effect because the light will be coming in uh, stronger from one point than the other and if we look at our image you can see that actually the light is coming from behind right to the camera so with that in mind then what I want to do is have the light closer on the left hand side than it is on the right hand side so let's just go to perspective just pull that down there we go and press enter once you've done that come up to edit and then select define brush preset so when we do that you can just name this so window brush you can call it whatever you want press ok and then come back to your image and there you go you can see there's our there's our window so we can make this bigger and smaller by pressing the bracket keys on the keyboard so you just want to select an area you want this covered in and make sure that the brush is set to the foreground color set to black which you can see is here you can press X on the keyboard to change that so then just click where you want the window light to be coming in and then from there, if we click uh, up here where it says window and then select properties, and then you'll see that you've got two different properties here. You've got the exposure adjustment there. And if you click on the layer mask, you can then select feather and you can push this up just to soften that window light. And let's just push that up. We want it to be in between where it's, it's a defined shape, but also somewhere it's a little bit blurred so it's it's a very very subtle adjustment let's just go with something i think around there is good 
that looks really good so once you've done that if you want to then jazz this up a little bit more you can obviously come down to the bottom here and select something like a color lookup so let's select color lookup and then on the top where it says look if we come down and let's just add a full color look that's quite nice because it's quite warm it's a warm image anyway and then let's just come to the opacity and let's just bring that down a little bit so we're not too strong so around 60% looks good so there we go that's how you do it it's as simple and quick as that so if you look here's the before and here's the after so you can see it's a really really good little trick that you can do and you have full control over this you can you can change the the size of that brush it can be as big or as small as you want it to be and you can get some really really nice effects with this so have a play see how you get on and i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye